Darius, we're coming up on the time we need to let you go, but on this topic, I wanted to be sure since you were talking about the importance of having hard assets to protect yourself in a period where we're being boiled with this monetary debasement and financial repression. So gold, and, and gold was, I mentioned this earlier, that was one of the things that you brought up in October, one of the assets that you felt was in a structural uptrend and uh, you were quite bullish on. It did pull back, you know, unlike your great call on Bitcoin and the, the U.S. stock market, it did pull back hard post the election. Are your indicators now still bullish on gold? And, and would you look at this correction as a great buying opportunity? Yeah, 100%. Uh, yes, we are. We continue to. I mean, so we, we run a, uh, sy sy uh, you may be familiar, David, we run a systematic uh, trend following process uh, for our retail investor clients that features gold as one of the core features of that process. 60% stocks, 30% gold, 10% Bitcoin. This, in our opinion, this is this is the counterpunch to what I think will become a, uh, a sort of strategy that effectively confiscates money out of investors' pockets and, and puts it back in Uncle Sam's pocket, which is 60-40. I think the bond market, and you know, to borrow a phrase from uh, Luke Roman, which I think is a, a brilliant phrase, the bond market will become certificates of confiscation. And ultimately, we, you, I think it's very important as, a, as an investor to find more credible, clever ways to get your clients' assets out of the bond market. And if you're going to be in fixed income securities, uh, concentrate that on credit, concentrate that on, on mortgages where you can actually pick up a spread relative to uh, the treasury market. Because to me, the treasury market is where we see the most risk and ultimately where we see the most opportunity uh, as, a, as an investor who could be positioned in alternative asset classes like gold, like Bitcoin, and obviously stocks being the dominant driver there. So uh, answering your question on gold, uh, yeah, we are still 100% uh, of our maximum exposure of 30% in gold. Uh, how we get to that uh, maximum exposure, uh, you know, the, the the target allocation in this systematic process is fixed at 30%. Gold has historically worked very well across all the different regimes that uh, impact the target allocation in this in this program. And then gold remains bullish uh, from the perspective of our volatility adjusted momentum signal, which controls the dynamic position sizing in this program. So we are still fully invested. Uh, this has been a phenomenal year of being, you know, more or less fully invested uh, across these asset classes. Uh, we all recently pivoted to gold about a month ago, uh, but we, you know, we we sort of decided to hey, let's book our gains and bonds and rotate out of it. And you know, probably for the last time, at least for 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 quite a while.